All right, we're gonna check out a new frame from Tomo Quads. And this is the Tomo Quads Kamikaze. And it's a, available as a three inch or a four inch. Which I didn't even know. I think maybe the four inch is kind of newer because I know it was a, just a three inch when it first came out. It's been out for a little bit. First time building one. Uh, and I'll show you the parts that I'm gonna be using on this one. I'm actually building two of them for two different people. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So you get a, this is a special edition, so you get the silver top plate. A little thin, it's probably one and a half or something, let me see. Maybe one. Yeah, a little over one, 1 1.2. Um, this must be the bottom plate and it's a bit thicker, maybe two and a half. Nope, two. Right on the money, two millimeters thick for the bottom plate, one and a, 1.2 for the top, and then you get two arms, kind of reminds me of the, uh, Baby Hawk R, um, if you get those replacement two and a half inch arms. But this is a three inch. I really do like that they're separate, you know. I mean it's nice to be able to just replace, you know, one of these instead of a whole frame. Um, these are three millimeters thick. Nice. So three millimeters on the arms, one point two on the top, two on the bottom. And I would think that it would go like that, right? With the bottom plate on the very bottom. And then uh, standoffs and the top plate. Yeah. You got pretty big holes here. These definitely, wait, let me see here. Okay, so it's probably these ones right here. They look like they'd fit M3. And there's slots so you can slide it forward or backward. These are probably just holes that are just a design. Same with this and this and then these two. So it's just this one, this one, that one, and that one. I like, I really do like that design that Tomo does where you can slide the stack forward and backward. I mean it's not very much on this one but it's better than none. What else do you get? bunch of 3d printed stuff pretty much the same as any other one of his frames really nice high quality TPU prints they look beautiful uh, these fit on the arms really nice they snap on they stay on perfect nice uh, motor vibration dampening and arm protection then you get uh, this Goes on the back standoffs. Holds your XT30 and uh, your antenna tubes. Then you got, just like I got on the, uh, what frame was that? The Hex, the Evo H. Two different types of camera mounts. These are both actually round though. There's no none that fit uh, the Hex. 3D nylon standoffs because this actually comes with some nice M3 aluminum standoffs and some nice titanium screws and a set of screws and nuts for your stack. Nice tight fit, that's what I like. I like it when it's tight. I like it tight. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah that's nice fit nice fit so you can go with this design or this design two 
two different holes to go forward or backward, which is really nice. Uh, so let me get this built up real quick. Just the frame, not the whole quad. But I am going to be building the one of them sometime today. So um, yeah, let me get this put together real quick. All right, and here it is all built up. Built up. <laughs> put together. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. I really like it. I think I would definitely want one for myself. That's for sure. Uh, it doesn't have that... You know how in my last... Here, let me grab it real quick since I have it right here. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more consistency with all these frames. I mean, there'll be one that has one cool thing and the other one has another cool thing, but not the other. And it's just like, man. Okay, this carbon, this is the hex I just did a little review on the other day. Yesterday, I think. And you know how I was talking about how it's so smooth around the edges and soft and feels really nice. And this carbon is really nice, too. This is the kind of carbon that I love. This is my favorite carbon right here. This is the same stuff that I see uh, on a couple other Tomo frames. I see these on Airblade frames like the Eclair. It's real sharp edges because, of course, it's not chamfered. I mean, it doesn't have to be chamfered, but, you know, they're sharp edges and the carbon just looks different. It doesn't look as good. Um, I'm not a carbon professional, so I couldn't tell you if this was worse than this or if this is better than that. I don't know, but I can tell you that when in person I'm looking at these and just my gut feeling is that this one on the hex is just way nicer and better and that's just my opinion it's not a fact um, and I'm not sure why he doesn't use this type of carbon on all his frames because this shit is the shit it's nice it's really nice I love it it's just I don't know it's just nice really nice nice it's soft and rounded and smooth and it just looks different I mean look, look up close can you see that difference between the two they're two completely different types of carbon and the one on the hex is just much nicer in my opinion uh, I would be quite happy if Tomo used this same shit on all of his frames and every other company use that carbon I don't know what the deal is with this carbon but let me look at this other one I got I do have another no it's the same the same as that one but the quad overall is pretty sweet I like it uh, I, all I'm saying is if it had this type of carbon it would just be that much better you know uh, yeah I'm not a fan of this carbon and I'm not sure what the deal is with why you know this is used why is this used on this one and this kind on this one I don't, I don't know but anyway pretty sweet frame man that TPU just sets it off it makes it look so nice and the TPU prints are just so great Tomo must have some really nice machines over there because it's just really nice um, it feels pretty light. We can get a weight. Um, now this does have slots, so I believe it takes 110X and 1306, 1407, 1507, which is really nice. Oops. 33, that's a very good weight, especially if you're going to be using something like 1306. But because of this weight, you could definitely use 1106. 1107 something like that for sure and it would fly just great but with some 1407s on here oh man it's gonna be crazy um now i'll show you what actually let's let's get a measurement i believe it's somewhere around 140 145 something like that i'm pretty sure but
Yeah, it's like 145. I don't know. It's about 149, 148. About 148. Pretty much what I thought it was going to be. Pretty sweet. Uh, let me grab some parts. Well, okay, so the stack... Same one I use in almost every quad these days, Speedix IS100, because I love that thing. Um, we got a Monster Micro Pro. Um, and these bad boys right here, the version two. So they were pretty quick to come out with the V2 of these, Rotor X was. And I'm not sure if it was because they had tried out a certain type of bearing on the V1 and it just didn't work out, or if they got a bad batch of bearings, or if they just didn't use as good of a bearing as they should have in the V1. But they were pretty quick to come out with a V2 with better bearings. So that's a good thing. Uh, kind of sucks for everybody that bought the V1 motors, you know, and not knowing. And I noticed it. I've already had to replace a motor on a guy's quad that had the V1s with bad bearings. And the motor was just locked up because of the bearings. He shouldn't have had to pay for that either. I, I should get a hold of Rotor X for that. But yeah, the V2s, they look identical to v1 the only difference is it has upgraded bearings and it now says v2 so at least you know right next to the kv it says v2.0 v2 and they do feel much smooth i mean oh man they feel really nice uh, I'm not sure if they added this to it. I can't, or actually, I have a V1. Hold on a second. Let me grab the V1. Yeah, they did. They added that ring around the bottom. In between the posts here. You can see that ring right there. It's real thin. It's not on the V1. It's all just open. So yeah, I don't know, is that is that to keep these from breaking or make it more solid down there probably, I guess. That's pretty much the only difference that I know of. Better bearings and that ring around the bottom now. Really nice motors though. And they're going to be so sweet on this. Oh man. Joe, you're lucky. I'm jealous. It's going to be so sweet. Especially with the uh, these props here. Going to be using these. These things are awesome. I've loved these props ever since they came out. The Rotor X 3044TX. They're basically made for these motors. Um, because they have those little posts on them where the other two screw holes would normally be on any other motor. So you know that's why it has the little notches right there on each side. Looks kind of like a bat wing, like Batman signal. <laughs> and it just locks in there, you know, it's locked in so that's just awesome. So yeah that's gonna look pretty sweet, the green and the orange. So yeah, I'm gonna get this built up later today, and I'll uh, I'll do another video uh, when it's finished up. Well, I need to anyway for to show it to Joe. So when I do that, then you guys will see it. So all right, I think that's all I got for now. So all right, thanks for watching.